Strike Fighter Wing Pacific and the Commanding Officer of Strike Fighter Squadron 122, we are proud to present the FA-18 Super Hornet demonstration intended to replace the venerable F-14 Tomcat and the aging Legacy Hornets. The Boeing-built FA-18 Super Hornet is the Navy's newest frontline tactical aircraft. Known as the Rhino by those who fly it, the Super Hornet builds on the combat-proven design of the original Hornet with improvements such as a 30% larger surface area. Area, bigger payload, longer range, and increased lethality over its predecessor. The aircraft you are seeing today taking off right now is the F model, which incorporates a two-place cockpit. The pair will experience a G-force extremes of negative three up to positive eight times the normal force of gravity as they maneuver the aircraft to the edge of its operating envelope. Today's show will be performed at speeds as fast as 700 miles per hour and as slow as 100 miles per hour. Many of the maneuvers you will see here today demonstrate the aircraft's capabilities in the tactical arena and are employed during combat and training flights. So Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the left. Will you will now hear the Rhinos, two GEF-414 and turbofan engines spooling up to their maximum power. After a brief systems check, Lieutenant Huckster will release the brakes, allowing the engines 44,000 pounds of combined thrust to accelerate the aircraft to its takeoff speed of 120 miles per hour. On takeoff, they will perform a dirty roll and demonstrate the awesome power and maneuver maneuverability of the Rhinos. I know. After climbing to 4,000 feet, the air crew will perform a one-half Q and eight maneuver. Here it is, on the roll, your United States Navy's F-18 Super Hornet.
Isn't it absolutely amazing? And just think, this is what we have protecting our troops over in the desert. Setting up now, Sandy. They're setting up for the carrier pass. Coming in here at about 400 knots. They'll make an abrupt bank to the left and set up for the carrier approach. Let's watch. Lieutenant Hoxtra and Lieutenant Alsa currently serve as instructors in Strike Force Fighter Squadron 122 and spend most of their time teaching new pilots and weapon system officers how to employ the Super Hornet. Currently they serve in the Navy. But there was another one left on the drawing board and this one here was called the Flying Barrel by some. It's probably the highest performance propeller urban airplane ever flown by the Navy, the F-80 Paracat. And now they're joined up with the Super Hornet. They're just leading and everything. Good language is like the United States Navy Legacy Program on one brand new member of Sherbrooke Records' carrier aviation unit. The ability to operate tactical aircraft off the carrier at sea is the Navy unique capability to operate anywhere in the world. Today, we honor the hero of World War II by flying World War II carrier aircraft.